something a bit different. This is uh, my kitchen clock. <laughs> um, it appears that, uh, that the battery's in it, and it does work. However, oh. um, I don't know if you can see in there, the little tab that's in there that appears to be broken. It doesn't connect with the battery. So I'm thinking that it needs to I don't know, pop out a little bit or maybe a couple of bits of wire soldered onto it. But yeah, so we push this in oh, and it doesn't appear to connect. So I think that that bit of, where are we? Let's get me a little pointy thingy. So it appears that this, this bit of metal here should be connected to something and it doesn't appear to be. Although I can't pull it out. So I'm just going to take it apart and have a look. See if I can fix it, hopefully. Because I like this clock. So I'm guessing that, that, yeah, so this just pops off. So the hands should just come off. Yep. Yep. With a big nut. I'm hoping that this is the only thing that's holding it on. There's a so that should that should lift off. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, so it all comes out. Right. So I'm hoping that it's going to be relatively simple. So it looks like, yeah, so we just got this should, or I don't want it to, well, I'm just wondering, does that just pop off? Let's get that screwdriver. So I'm wondering just, does this just lift off? All right, let's, let's try this first. That's one. What I don't want to happen is when I take this off, yeah, all of the cogs just go flying. Yeah, please don't do that. Oh, yeah. Ah, so, ah, so it's just two little connectors that connect onto, onto here. So maybe it's just, one of them does, they do look a bit, this one, the one on the left that, yeah, these two, they, one of, they don't look quite right. So if that goes on there, okay, so maybe if I just bend those up a bit, that might work. Let's, let's try, yeah, because this, the one on the left is definitely bent up more than the one on the right. Let's just bend it up a bit and see what happens. Quite sure how that happened. Let's see if that works. I'll put them both up like that. I should be able to see if it works. I think I think I think perhaps you can hear that, but it does appear to be working. So, well. Not quite sure what happened there. But we'll leave it like that for a little while and then see if the hand moves. Because it if it's working, the big hand should move after a few minutes. Yeah, just as I left it, I can actually see it moving. 
you'll probably be able to see, I don't know, you probably can't see each movement, but you will likely be able to see, I'll speed it up a little bit, and then you should be able to see it moving, but I'll leave it running for a little while. Bugger. I think I just broke it. Yep. Mm. Well, while pushing this in, this happened. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. I'm not quite sure how badly I've damaged it. Oh, crap. I can hear it ticking, so it's still ticking. Now, so it's still ticking, but the hand is not moving. Oh, lift it up like that, it's stopped ticking. I think that bit, that's the bit that's turning. Probably fix that with a little bit of glue. So I'll run a bit of, I'll run a bit of glue down there and then just push it together. Let's get my, that one. What's it, this one. So this is my, oh, plastic glue. Oh, and I can't, oh, it's probably, that needle is probably, oh, it's probably blocked. Yep. Okay, so, I haven't used that in a while. Um, I don't think I've got, I, don't know, I might need a strand, maybe a strand of wire will do that. Yeah, I don't know, I'll have to have a look. Um, let's get a, let's get a cocktail stick, maybe that might help. Right, so I'm not going to get that in there. I can't even see if there's any glue on it. <laughs> There's me. There's a magic. The problem is this: this glue is so runny. Oh, I can see it working because it's melting the plastic. It takes a while to dry though. This one, so yeah, probably have to fast forward a little bit. Should have put my gloves on. Yeah, you can see there, look, it's melting. It's melting the plastic. Okay, that seems to have bonded. That took a few minutes, but this stuff normally does. I'm going to have to clean that out. I've been making many of my um, model railway models. I can't use that because that um, fine point is very useful. Right, let's put the battery back in. Oh, yeah, that's not going to work, is it? Yeah, there's definitely something. There's definitely has something. Oh, no, it's moved. I may have to leave that for a, quite a while. 
There's definitely something wrong with the mechanism because I can hear it every now and again. Yeah, because it's it appears to be working now. Oh no, it stopped. Yeah, I don't think the mic's picking it up anymore. But it does appear to be working. Well, I'm going to leave it. Oh, damn, I've just pulled that out. I'm going to leave it. The battery's in. Let's put these back on. Yeah, and don't push too hard this time. Just make sure they miss each other. Right, yeah, it is moving again. Barely. But it's moving both of them. Oh no, that's gone up to 12. Right, hang on, let's put it back in the... Let's put it back in its thing. Right, note to self, don't push this on so hard. Right, I can hear it, so I'm just going to leave it. Let's put that, the, let's put them both on twelve. All right, so the big hand is moving again. It's very slowly, so I'm going to leave it for a little while, and then try not to break it anymore. Right, it's been going for a while now, so yeah, I would say that's fixed. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully I haven't broken it anymore. <laughs> but yeah, it looks all right now. So I think the only problem was the, the connector on the back there, um, connecting the positive, because that was slightly bent out. Not sure how that, how that happened, though, because it just stopped working one day. Right, well, thanks for watching.